First, you're going to have to have your co computer connected to the keyboard via a USB or some other media device. Here I'm showing my media man with my USB cable with my media cables going out and into the cord. So you need to have at least uh, media in and out coming out from your uh, USB media adapter going into the in and out of the Korg M1. Remember uh, that the out cable from the box goes into the in of the keyboard and the in from the box goes to the out. So it's reverse. Uh, once you have that connected, you have established the connection between the computer, the adapter, and the keyboard. Okay, the other thing that we need to do is to make sure that we go to our global settings button down here. And make sure that you have your transmit channel. set on a channel that you know in this case I have mine on 9 so that when you go to the computer you know exactly what channel you'll be transmitting under. The next step is to find a suitable application to communicate between the computer and your uh, synthesizer uh, open your browser and you'll find plenty of them on the web. I've chosen Media-OX because it's the one that I tried and it worked for me, but you can use any of the other ones that are available. MediaOX.com, click on it, download the most recent version of it, it's free. Click here and then do a download for it save it save it to my desktop and just install it the next step is to go in on the web and try to find the sounds now there's plenty of places where they've actually uh, located the original sounds for the Korg M1 I just typed in the Google bar uh, Korg M1 original sounds and I got all these listed here I went to the uh, the vintage synth explorer that you see right here and it brought me to this page where it talks a lot about the M1 and whatnot it's got a video here that you can hear the the sounds on YouTube but as you go further down you see right here the patch files it says lots of media X file, media system X files, patches, original factory patches are here. So if you click here, it'll bring you to this uh, M1 patch zip. You just save it, uh, which I did already. It's right here. Click on it, and you'll notice you'll have a uh, a series of files in it. They're all what they call system exclusive files, which is basically files that you can pull out. Let's pull them all out of here and extract them. Put them on top of my desktop. Let's pull them all up here. All these system X files are the original sounds of the Korg M1, including the combination uh, uh, files that came with the uh, M1 when you got it from uh, directly from the factory. Now the system X file format is one that can be read by the MIDI OX file. That'll be our next step to connect both the software with the file and communicate it back to the synthesizer. Okay, let's get a couple of basics here before we actually send the file over. 
<clears throat> one thing you need to do is you need to go to your global button hit the global button move through all the menus until you get to this one again make sure you know what channel you have it on and then the next screen is you need to make sure you see how it has media filtering program enabled after touch enabled control enabled this is very important exclusive this is system exclusive you're enabling it permitting the computer to send over system exclusive data if this is disabled then your MIDI OX software is not going to be able to send any information over so this part you have to have it enabled the next part is the next screen as you as you hit up from this one which is the media filtering is also a very important one program memory protection internal memory protection is on you have to turn it off or else it's not going to write anything into it so let's change it to off by hitting the button right down here and then combination memory because one thing is the patches which we already resolved here with program and the other thing is combination the combinations also have a level of protection as well whether it's internal or it's on the card but we're not talking about card right now we're talking about internal it must be off as well or else media uh, OX is not going to write to it we're not going to worry about the sequen uh, sequencing data or anything and that's it okay uh, we've reached the end of what we need to do I have installed the media OX I've downloaded from the internet the patches I've uh, got them out of their zip file they're on my desktop I've installed MIDI OX and now I have opened it and when you open it uh, a lot of these won't be uh, open at when you open the f program at the very very first time but you will be able to find the most important one which is uh, I believe it's up here actions send a system exclusive file when it opens up here for you you just go to the particular either the combination the uh, the, the initial programs the sequences and then the 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 techno m1 or the synth uh, programming and uh, what you just do it's very simple the file is very small so it goes on very quickly what you do is you click here to the one that you want to upload you see how fast it goes that's how fast it's sent to the synthesizer and that's all there there is uh, I will do a couple of screenshots with my camcorder of how the uh, keyboard has reacted to uh, either uh, uploading the uh, techno and the synth so you can see the uh, patches that went up and that's about it so let's jump to the camcorder to see what uh, uh, was the reaction of the synthesizer and basically when you end this whole thing out you will have all the sounds the original sounds that you want and you can use uh, the MIDI o OX to take uh, the sounds off and on and exchange them between the synth program, the techno M1, the sequencing uh, or the original programs that came in, uh, the original global settings that came in or the combination.
uh, uh, patches that are in uh, the M1. Now you can go to the internet and buy a lot of these uh, sounds and replace them and do all sorts of changes and combinations and whatnot with it. But uh, basically, it's up to you. The sky's the limit. You can go on the internet and find uh, a lot of the patches are still available. So that's it. Let me do a couple of uh, shots on the synthesizer and we should be done. Here we go. I apologize for the, uh, the crabbiness of the, the screen here. I'm trying to do this off of the uh, camcorder and trying to zoom in here so you can see what the programs are. But this is the result of uploading the Techno M1. As we go through, we got the Sensoprano, the Mundo Synth, the Brass, something face or other, uh, Magic Flute, Ghost Piano, Background, Panscape, etc. So let's upload the uh, other file. So the first one was the Techno uh, M1. This is the synth programs. So you can see 00 now it has Bell Wave, Room Hit, Clang, Slap Hit, Wave Pad, Phase 1, etc. etc. So that's basically it. Any questions? Send me an email.